Hey folks, Lester here. I am working around the barn today and I'm not alone. I'm being joined by this sweet little girl who's getting around really, really good. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Lester, I see that wheelchair right there. Put it on that baby and don't make her drag her legs around. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've put this wheelchair on her because I want her to be as mobile as possible. But I feel like she struggles more with the wheelchair on. And she's gotten her, well, <laughs> she's gotten herself really accustomed to getting around. Sheesh. Baby girl, I am making a video about you. And you have to stop doing that. As I make my video about how well you're getting around, there you start doing from. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll put the wheelchair on her. Sheesh, baby. You're making me look horrible here. You're making me like a horrible pet owner. I was talking about how good you're getting around. And then, number one, you get hung up in the, in the extension cord. And then you start doing handspans, baby. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not laughing at her, folks. I'm laughing with her. And I'm laughing with you. All right, come on, baby. All right, so just to make everybody happy, I'm gonna go ahead and put her little wheelchair back on her. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now that this little girl, as much as we love her, she seems to be a whole lot more comfortable with making her way around without the wheelchair. I think she's gotten herself very, very used to uh life without the use of some limbs and i think that the wheelchair now is more of a hindrance to her it goes on her very very it goes on her real easy folks it goes on real easy but she hasn't quite seemed to grasp grasp the uh concept yet of how this thing works so, so I know you can't see what that, but she keeps falling and slipping and I'm sorry. And you can be mad if you want to be mad, but this is a bigger hindrance to her than just making her way around on her own. And so you might say, Lester, it's the wrong size wheelchair. You might say, Lester, you need, listen, we already have two. We bought one that we felt was a little bit too big. That was the one that you saw as he's at the vet's office. And now we've bought another one that as far as the dimensions go, her height and her weight and all of that stuff, it should be the perfect fit. But she doesn't feel right in it. She just doesn't feel right in it. And so I think that we're just gonna let her work herself around. What I'm gonna do is just always make sure to keep her bandages changed so she doesn't like wear a hole in these or anything or, you know, get them dirty. And so she just wants to be out of the stall and she wants to be moving around like everybody else does. She can't be with everybody else. That's LE driving by on the four wheeler. She can't be with everybody else. Let me turn my camera around. So she can't be with everybody else. That's something that we've been told. So she's just gonna follow daddy around as I work. And uh, I'm doing things in the barn today. I've uh, got my tractor out and I've been unloading some boxes. We got some packages, we got some feed, we got some stuff that I've been unloading and kind of sorting it by how it goes. And she just wants to be with daddy. Well, baby, oh, you scared me, stay with daddy. Uh, and so, oh my gosh, look, I forgot to tell y'all about this. Check this out. We've been so blessed and we've gotten so many neat things lately. So I'm going to put this on her stall. It has little holes already drilled. And so I'm not sure exactly how I will do this yet. It'd be easier to drill into the wood, to not drill, but screw into the wood 
than have to drill into the metal. But uh, I think that that's gonna be really cute. Let me show you what else we've gotten. And I wasn't trying to make a gift and goodies video here. I know Jamie and Ellie like to be a part of that. But I wanna show you something so sweet. Uh, I set them over here out of the way so I wouldn't lose them. And darn it, they're not where I let, left them. Uh, we got some really pretty brass. They came all the way from Sally in Australia. Hold on one second, folks. I don't know where I set them, but I'll find them. Uh, this is cute. This is for my bus, Turtle Crossing. Very funny. Where did I set those things at, Sally? I set them down somewhere. We, uh, we've gotten quite a few things over the days that we were gone on vacation. And I was just kind of going through in a mad dash trying to put things, sort things here and there. And I set those things down somewhere. And I know they're close. All right, I found them. So look, <laughs> this here says Dixie. And obviously this over here, I will uh, screw it onto Dixie's place. It's covered in plastic right now, so you can't get the full effect. But we also got one for Bucky's. We got one for Voodoo. Now this last one's gonna be a little bit, make you a little, a little bit sad. I'm trying to do it with one hand, folks, forgive me. But uh, it actually, the last one says Ivy. And so Jamie and I have struggled back and forth with this uh, because obviously we've had to take Ivy's stall and make it into our nursery. So eventually, Jamie, I don't know, uh, we've had to let Ivy share a stall and she has no problem sharing with Dixie. They get along real well. And, uh, but uh, yeah, for now, Ivy won't have her very own stall until we, you know, until we make, uh, make arrangements to uh, have a, a little bit better place for this lady poor here. Ivy. I know, poor Ivy, babe. <laughs> but um, these are really nice. I was showing some uh, the folks some really neat things that have come this week. Yeah. And uh, but I but I all it all started because this little girl does not do well in her wheelchair. I feel like she does better with, out of it. I agree. And I know you're gonna say she's wearing it wrong. You're this and that and blah blah. Guys, I've YouTube I I have YouTubed it. I've hooked it up exactly like they say it should be hooked up. She's getting seriously just fine. And I she just gets around so well like this because she's gotten herself very used to walking on those two front legs. I gotta show you something, Jamie, that was really cute and also very embarrassing. So I've been using my extension cord to blow off the barn, you know, and blow out the stalls. Yeah. So I haven't rolled it back up very well. Oh, no. I know, and I no, let this I let this poor baby off, and she goes right to my extension cord and gets tangled up. Oh, but she untangled herself by going on her two front legs and doing a spin around break dance move, gets herself out of the extension cord. Almost gets herself all the way out. Where are you going? And then she flips over sideways. Aww. It was the cutest and saddest thing you're gonna see today. The only thing that would make up for that is if you showed her your breaking smooth. <laughs> if it weren't concrete, Jamie, I think I might would do that for her. time for her bottle i see you brought her bottle out i'm sorry to say jamie but the boys are have gone with pig newton they take him on a little he's gone on a little trip somewhere an excursion if you will so he's not home right now and i think that's why she's so upset i think, so too. I think that she's gotten used to her time with pig newton and uh no no i don't mean to be disrespectful but these uh geese no 
ducks. These ducks and uh, chickens, it's these baby crabbit. chicks, are just not as entertaining and they're not as cuddly. Here comes the boys back with Pig Newton. She wants her friend. She needs her friend back. Bring her back. Oh, she's gonna meet you halfway. She's like, do y'all have Newton? Do you have Newton? Have you seen Newton anywhere? I can't find Newton and I'm worried about him. Oh, there's Newton. Show, show her you have Newton. She goes, oh, never mind, not Newton. That's not who I wanted. I wanted the bottle. Ellie, I gotta show y'all the funniest video and the saddest video. It's gonna be two in one. It's a twofer. Twofer? Yeah, watch this.